Previously on the writer's wardrobe. There's a zombie apocalypse. He was taken by a zombie. The important thing is we find him. He's in trouble. Listen, I'm going to send someone your way. Stay put, and they'll be there in a jiffy. Ha! Welcome back to another episode of Jiff and Clinton and the zombie apocalypse. All bronze and no brain. It's brainless. That was horrible. Anyway, I just thought I'd get a bit of recording in while we wait for the mysterious Jack's mysterious stranger to mysteriously materialize with all the great air of mystery. You think you're clever, don't you? I know I'm clever, mate. I told you. You must be Applejack's contacts. Oh, fuck me. I didn't even hear you approaching. She really did mysteriously materialize. I told you she would. You guys are weird. And you are gorgeous. You're Jif, then, which makes you Clinton. Hello. Hi. Jack says I'm to deal with you for everything because Jif is a bit of a moron. I'm not a moron. He said you'd say that. I'm smart. He said you'd say that, too. Now we need to start moving. I have a camp not too far from here. We can take shelter there. Well, hang on. Aren't you going to give us your name? See, Clinton, I'm learning. Name's Anna. I'm the Black Thumb. The hell is a Black Thumb? She's the weapons guy. A uh, girl. She's the weapons person. She's clearly a woman and a weapon herself. The fuck does that even mean? This is going to be a long day, isn't it? Welcome back, Jiffers, to another excited installment of Jiff and Clinton Take Over the Universe. I've been walking for an hour, and I'm so brain dead, I'm brainless. You fit four hours worth of bitching into that one hour's travel. Oh my god, it hurts so much, please. Please, Anna, you'll have to carry me. I'm not fucking carrying you. <sighs> I'll do it. No, oh, Clinton, I don't want your filthy hands on me. I want hers. It's not bitching, it's manly grumbling. I was shot. In the ass. Yes, in the ass. you don't have to repeat it. Oh, you never stop repeating it. You're meant to be on my side. I'd rather turn vegan. <gasps> How could you? I couldn't, that's the point. I love meat. Ah, all meat? Anyway, we made it back to Anna's camp. There aren't too many zombies out here. You can't even call it a camp, really. It's a metropolis of armour and armaments. It's a caravan. It's an armoured caravan, Clinton. The best kind of caravan. Yep, she's a zombie-killing machine. The best kind of machine. Have I told you how amazing you are? <sighs> Jack told me you need weapons. I've taken the liberty of preparing two Edgeford assault rifles, a sawn-off double barrel, and a vendetto. I have no idea what any of that is. Well, uh, one's a shotgun. I know what a fucking shotgun is! You need to be more clear in your bitching, then. Edgefords are assault rifles. They shoot bullets and they shoot them fast. A vendetto is a pistol. Like a cowboy? No, I rarely deal with six shooters. And I usually don't deal with people who don't know guns. I'd really be better off giving you a club and sending you on your way. I have a frying pan. Fucking caveman. What? I'm a zombie killing machine. Bet I've killed more zombies than your armored caravan. I knew you were dumb, but you're verging towards stupid. Frank would have a field day with you. Who's Frank? It doesn't matter. He your husband? I'll kill him. Oh my god, speaking of lovers, we're trying to find a woman. Uh, I thought you were trying to find Lou. That too. He's more of a side story at this point. Anyway, I really appreciate any information you can give us. Well, what did she look like? She had long hair and such a way with people. She broke my nose and I don't even care. Sounds like Melody. Did she have really strong legs? Yeah, really powerful. That's Mel. She came through, heading south. Hold on, I'll see if I can find her in his phone. You have Lou's phone? Yeah, the idiot left it behind when he was kidnapped. You know the password? Nah, it's the weirdest thing. All I do is hold it up to Clinton's face and... Bob's your uncle. Huh, I don't see it. See what? The similarities. Obviously the phone sees it. But Lou has a beard. <laughs> if you can call it a beard. Anyway, let's see here. Scroll down. Keep scrolling. Uh, and then... And... That's it. What was it? Melody, you said? That's her. Mishy, Millie, Michelle, Mitchell. Damn it, there's not a melody anywhere. You're not too far behind her. Ow! Fuck! It's like sitting on a vibrator. Gay. I'm in the gaping hole in my ass. Even gayer. I got shot, you can't make fun of me. Wow. What are all these weird earthquakes anyway? Jack says it's the realm weakening. That's why it's so important to find Lou. Why? Applejack doesn't explain how the magic works, and he rarely talks about it. All I know is that I don't want to find out what happens if Loomis doesn't get found. 